Africans have been present in Germany for centuries, long before the era of European colonialism. Their presence can be traced back to the Roman Empire, which had African soldiers stationed in its Germanic provinces. During the Middle Ages, African musicians, scholars, and merchants traveled to German cities along established trade routes. These early encounters were sporadic but significant, demonstrating the long-standing connections between Africa and Europe. These individuals challenged prevailing European notions of Africa as a dark continent. They brought with them their cultures, skills, and knowledge, enriching the social fabric of German society. However, their stories often remain hidden within broader historical narratives. It is important to remember that these early encounters were not always characterized by equality and respect. Africans in Germany often faced prejudice and discrimination. They were often relegated to the margins of society, their contributions overlooked or minimized. Nevertheless, their presence laid the groundwork for the complex and evolving relationship between Africa and Germany that continues to this day. The late 19th century marked a turning point in Afro-German relations with the rise of German colonialism. Germany, like other European powers, sought to establish colonies in Africa driven by economic ambitions and a sense of imperial rivalry. This period saw the brutal subjugation of African populations under German rule in colonies such as German East Africa, German Southwest Africa, and Cameroon. German colonialism had a profound impact on the demographics of both Africa and Germany. The exploitation of colonial resources fueled industrial growth in Germany, while simultaneously decimating local economies and traditional ways of life in Africa. Thousands of Africans were forcibly brought to Germany as colonial subjects, exhibited in human zoos and forced into labor. This period also saw the emergence of racist ideologies that sought to justify European dominance and African subjugation. These ideas, deeply rooted in colonialism, would have lasting consequences for Afro-Germans and shape Germany's relationship with Africa for generations to come. The legacy of colonialism continues to influence contemporary debates on race, identity, and belonging in Germany. The defeat of Germany in World War I and the subsequent collapse of the German Empire brought about significant changes. The Weimar Republic, established in 1919, ushered in a period of social and political upheaval. For Afro-Germans, descendants of German colonial settlers and African partners, this era brought both opportunities and challenges. The Weimar Republic saw a flourishing of artistic and intellectual expression, and some Afro-Germans found spaces to make their voices heard. They engaged in political activism, advocating for equal rights and challenging prevailing racist attitudes. The Harlem Renaissance in the United States also had an impact in Germany, inspiring Afro-German artists and intellectuals to explore themes of identity, race and belonging. However, this period of relative openness was short-lived. The economic instability of the Weimar Republic, coupled with the rise of nationalist and racist ideologies, fueled prejudice and discrimination against minorities, including Afro-Germans. They faced social exclusion, limited employment opportunities, and increasing hostility from far-right groups. The rise of the Nazi regime in 1933 marked a dark chapter for Afro-Germans. The Nazi ideology, rooted in racial purity and Aryan supremacy, 
viewed anyone of African descent as racially inferior and a threat to the German nation. Afro-Germans were subjected to systematic persecution, stripped of their citizenship rights and denied access to education and employment. The Nuremberg Laws of 1935, which codified racial discrimination, targeted Jews as well as other groups deemed undesirable by the Nazis, including Afro-Germans. Forced sterilizations were carried out on Afro-Germans to prevent them from contaminating the Aryan race. Many were imprisoned in concentration camps, subjected to forced labor, and murdered. The exact number of Afro-Germans persecuted and killed during the Holocaust remains unknown as their stories were often omitted from official records. Their persecution serves as a stark reminder of the horrors of racism and the dangers of unchecked hatred. The legacy of this dark period continues to haunt Germany and efforts to uncover and acknowledge the suffering of Afro-Germans during the Nazi era are crucial for reconciliation and healing. Kindly please like, share and subscribe.